I wonder whether you've ever thought about just how many people there are in the world. In our own country, there are millions. You look at the world, there are millions and millions, what we call billions of people, so many. And it might make us think, well, we're not very important. We're just one person amongst all these. Or maybe we feel that we've not particularly been noticed and we don't, we're not worth very much. Well, in our story today, we learn something very interesting indeed. Jesus spoke about something being lost that was very precious. And, well, I won't spoil the story. Let's find out more in our Open the Books story. The Lost Coin Let me tell you a story, said Jesus to the crowd. Once upon a time there was a woman, a woman who worked very hard. She worked so hard, in fact, that she managed to save ten days' pay, and she tucked it away in the safest place in her house. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten coins in all. She knew them all by sight. The shiny ones and the dull ones, the thick ones and the thin ones, the smooth ones and the dented ones. One day she took them out to count them. One, two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. But she never got to ten because the last coin was missing. The woman looked again inside her little box. It's the tiny silver one, she said. It's gone. And what do you think she did? Did she say to herself? I have nine coins left. Who cares if one is lost? Of course not. She wanted that last coin as much as the rest. So she lit a lamp and started to look. She looked under tables and beds and chairs. She looked under pots and pans. She reached into crevices, cracks and nooks, and finally she found it nestling in a dark corner. The woman shouted, then she picked up the coin and danced around the room. Come to my house, she called to her neighbours. Come to my house, she called to her friends. My coin was lost and now it's found. We're going to have a party. And that's just what the angels do, said Jesus. When someone who is far away from God turns around, and does what's right. Well, what a great story. That woman goes looking for that lost coin, even though she has all those others, and she doesn't stop until she finds it. And actually, it's a story just like how God thinks of all of us. God wants to find each and every one of us, even if we're lost, because he loves us and wants to take care of us. So I'm going to end in a short prayer and if you'd like to make it yours, please join in with the Amen at the end. Lord, thank you that you love us all so much and you want to find each and every one of us. Help us to be people who follow your ways. Amen.